Welcome to Spank Odds. Hey, hey, Spanky here for Spank Odds. Thanks for coming by. Let's talk about another line alert here. We're talking line seekers, okay? Line seekers. So there's two things we got to do first with line seekers. First, we got to set up our alert methods. And we have three different types of line seekers, and I'll kind of explain when you should use all three different types. There's good, bad, and neutral. Um, good line seekers, again, you could play all good line seekers. You have a certain audio and then a pop-up. And again, that pop-up, um, you could play the pop-up anywhere you want, um, and it will kind of show you exactly where it's going. So we have different line seekers. And then again, we have a stoppage on, if, if, if you see a line, it will stop you from, it won't re-notify you until X minutes has elapsed. Here we have it set to five minutes. So if you're looking for that one lonely seven out there, if it sees a seven, it'll alert you line seeker. But then if let's just say it's steaming and everybody's going to seven, you don't want to get bombarded with messages, line seeker, line seeker, line seeker, here it is, here it is. Or in this case, if it's a good line seeker, it'll say beautiful, baby, you know, whatever. We have different... Um, sound files here that you could use um and then this is listen i know a lot of there's expletive uh things here but sometimes if i'm looking at different line seekers especially good ones and bad ones um these are the type of feelings i have sometimes i feel like saying oh shit or oh shit this sucks sometimes like what the fuck how did that happen sometimes i'm so happy i'm like yeah fuck yeah um etc 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 so there's different ways and different uh sound files you could use for these line seekers so that's how you set it up, okay? Let's now talk about when you should use a different um, uh, line seeker for uh, for uh, uh, good, bad, or or, uh, or neutral. So let's just say I'm going to just pick a game here, uh, game one, uh, 160, uh, 163 here, Troy, Mississippi, just because it's the first game on a board. So if we have a line seeker, let's just say now that Troy, Mississippi game um, – Let's just say you have uh, you have a piece, or again, this is the first week of the season, so there's nothing really going on. But let's just say um, you were, you think that that line you you know you want to be able to bet that at plus twenty four. So if you see anybody that goes to twenty four, um, let me know about. It. Give it. To, let me know, and then I'll be able to execute that trade. So that's kind of a neutral line seeker. So let's just say you would add or update. I'm sorry, what was that game number again? That's game one sixty three. So I'd say add or update, I would say game 163 here, Troy, Mississippi. And then um, if I say, okay, anytime you see a plus 24, um, make this a neutral line seeker. Note, and, and this will be a, a, alert me in the way the neutral uh, uh, configuration was set. And, um, and that's it. And then I'll just click and I'll use the mathematical equivalent and then we'll activate this. And this is for the full game. What's the mathematical equivalent? Mathematical equivalent, essentially, if you check that off, if it sees something plus 24 or better, so if let's just say it sees plus 24 and a half minus 15, for instance, if it's a 24 worth 5 cents, we think it is, so then it will alert you. If it sees plus 23 and a half plus 02, um, even though you're not getting the 24, you're getting a half a point worse, but you're saving 12 cents on the juice, so that'll also alert you. But if you want it to be strict, plus 24 or better, and you don't, I don't want you to use your math spank, and I don't want you to do that, so you uncheck that. And then you click save, and... Um, and then they, and then that would be uh, uh, configured for the line seeker. Um, now, when you go uh, for the football here, anytime any any uh, twenty four that shows up on this game um, for Troy, which was uh, game one sixty, I believe it was one sixty three, um, then the system would alert me about it. Um, so that's a neutral line seeker. When would you use a bad or a good line seeker? So just to kind of describe the, the position, let's just say you took a lead on the game. You laid five, and um, you believe that a certain player is out um, uh, on the uh, on the underdog team. So you think that line's going to go up. So what I would do there is I would set both a good and a bad line to you. Let's just say the line, you laid five, the line is painted six and a half. Now, if the line closes six and a half, you feel good, you got a nice piece. But you don't know if that player on the underdog team is going to start or not. So now you kind of want to put a good line seeker saying, if I see a seven or higher, 
I'm happy. Alert me. That means I'm getting more positive closing line value. I feel great. It looks like my initial uh, feelings are confirmed that this player is not going to play. I laid five. This is great. However, if you start seeing bookmakers go down to six from that six and a half or even five and a half, you want to set a bad line seeker there because that's like, oh, shit, this thing is coming back in my face. Maybe my information that I had was wrong and I need to act accordingly. What does that mean? Maybe I want to lay off the game. I want to be able to take take back and just go for the middle and end it. Or maybe I want to keep, keep a keen eye on this and see uh, monitor a little bit more closely. So that's kind of where you could use a good line seeker or a bad line seeker or a neutral line seeker. Line seekers are very, very important, big part of our business. We use them all the time. And again, it's hard to keep an eye on all these bookmakers and all these different numbers. So when you set line seekers up again, you let the software do the work for you and then boom, it hits you with, here's the information. We're getting all this data. We turn it into information and then here it is. So I think uh, it's an invaluable tool. I hope everybody's able to use it the way we do. Thanks so much for the time. Until next time.